walk him straight into the hot sauce guitar kitchen and then see what happens. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 134. Bro, does it begin again? The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 134. It begins again. I'll talk fast. You need a traditional sort of pickups, like a humbucker, or like a humbucker, like you would have a normal guitar. Piezo, piezos are like these little discs. These essentially will go beneath the bridge. That's like the traditional, like, you have a box, and you want to plug it in from here to like a little mini amp. So you want a way to do that. Piezos sound okay. I mean, they sound better than nothing, but they definitely don't sound like this. I've got a lot of options in here for those. You can make them sound good. Keep the cost down when you're just they're handy. So you can go piezo disc, or like a rod pipe. You go right beneath your bridge. And boxes, I'll pull a bunch of these out. But you know, like, plain boxes think kind of like an acoustic guitar, right? I'll pull a bunch of these out later, but then I do have a black box world over here where all of these boxes are black. So I kind of organize them black. Then up here I have some white boxes and then just different sizes back here. Leather Rose, she's a hot chick right there. Leather Rose. Kind of bluish ones. So I got a bunch of them. I have to pull a couple down, but it was like these. Uh, this. Like that's the back of the. I, I like to build in the back of the box, and here's the top acoustic. But you can get like red ish ones. Look, will the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen spare any expense for a custom build? Yeah. I won't. I won't spare any expense. We're going to go across the street over here to La Javera. Maybe Justin's over there. Or maybe Kelly. And we'll go look inside and see if they got any nice um, cigar box guitars in here. I always say cigar box guitars. I'm so used to saying the word. I don't even say the word cigar box anymore. Guys, see me coming? I'll watch him. We'll walk. Look, this guy. Let me just get here nervous. Yeah, I'll just stand right up in the middle of the road, dude. Look, I'm like right up in the middle of the road. Cigar boss guitar builder gets hit crossing the road. Look, this is my jam right here. See the big Indian. All right, look, there's no cigar box. There's no empty boxes in here anymore. They used to be right here in the bottom shelf. Not anymore. He must have moved them. I'm going to have to holler at Justin and be like, yo, what's up, bro? Huh. I don't know where the boxes are anymore. Sucks. Womp, 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 womp. See the camera back there looking at me? <laughs> I'd have one, too. I bet people would just try to rob them all the time. I'm not here to rob you, bro. I'm just here to get cigar boxes. I'm gonna go ask him. Yo, look, my girl Kelly up in here just gave me like a whole box of them. She's so good to me. <laughs> yeah, they. she said they had to merchandise every square inch of the place now. So they're actually just, are just getting rid of these. So I just, just gonna start giving me boxes of them. That's, that, that rocks. Did Christmas come early for this new client? Listen, you reach out to Del Puckett, you reach out to the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, we go out hunting boxes for you. There's a strong chance, well, there's not a strong chance. Actually, this is the first time this has ever happened where I just walked in, they said, here's a whole box of, box of boxes, okay? Let's take these boxes out. <clears throat> Walk him straight into the hot sauce guitar kitchen and then see what happens. Whoo! Ah, uh, Captain Howland, Matt Murdock. Whoo! I'm glad I'm in the prime of my life right now, bro. Puffing in this big old box. 
That's why I work out, yo. Listen, if you if you work out in the hot sauce guitar kitchen, you'll know what's up. Okay, let's um, go from this box and make a big pile of them right here. Well then, got a bunch of boxes, super sight. These sort of smaller boxes I'll use for other things, amps, pedals. I've heard you can make purses out of them. And lamps, I believe Ben Giddy from CB Giddy has a whole book on what to do with cigar boxes. So these little, these fat ones, I tend to not use them for guitars, you can. Smaller ones, the real long ones right here, I like to use these for license plate guitars, like this. Because they, they lend to the, to the length. All right. But the ones I'm interested in today is... This one's cool. This one is the is one of the ones that caught my eye immediately. I love these boxes. These are like all wood. These are some of my favorite boxes right here. Those ones, of course, is uh, Fat Bottom Betty. Fat Bottom Betty, you make the rockin' world go round. Look at Fat Bottom Betty. Of course, you know we love these Olivia boxes. Again, like the all, all wood. Simple. But the one I liked too was this one over here called Disciple. I got him buried. But this Disciple. This one says Disciple, and it's on a really cool box. This one below, it's cool too, so. Well, cool, thanks. La Chavetta, Kelly and Justin over there, hooking a brother up. I'm gonna go through these, gonna contact this potential client, and then if I get the green light go, this video will, this build will begin. Which I'm gonna look through these boxes right here. I'm gonna look through the back stock boxes up there, black box over here, boxes over here, and then we'll make a decision. And then I, I guess this video right here will just be basically, this was like the preliminary when you start building a cigar box guitar, the very first thing you need is a cigar box. And that actually is a fun aspect of it. Go down to your local cigar store, and even if you don't smoke, just say hi, yo, what up? Some places like this place and other places I've been, they just throw the boxes away. I mean, some places will sell them. I've paid for them before. I've bought um, some boxes over here that I'm personally crazy about. So just, you know, that's cool, especially if you're gonna sell them. But um, yeah, today's is, hi, I wanna build a cigar box guitar or I would like you to build it for me. The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen's always gonna prefer and encourage you to build your own cigar box guitar. Go to Dell Puckett Cigar Box Guitars. Dell's got great videos. I, it's, I, learn, I learned a lot from him. Uh, Mike Orr's book. Handmade Music Factory, get a book, learn how to do it. Just jump in. But I like making them. I like selling them. I like taking that money and buying ha Captain Helen Mad Murdoch more dog food because he's out, I believe. We had a neighbor that we had a neighbor that couldn't pronounce his name is Murdoch. 
had a neighbor that couldn't, the kid's name was Pasqual. <laughs> he couldn't pronounce Murdoch, so he called him Mordog. Can I come please pet Mordog? So, we called him Mordog food. Why? So when it's empty, we'll need more dog. Look. So you got to put some, you got to order some, listen, if you want to keep Captain Helen Mad Murdoch fed with quality dog food, you better start ordering some of my guitars, son. It's not just for me. It's not because my kids need new shoes. It's because the dog needs to eat food. And so it begins. Hot sauce guitar kitchen, cigar box. Hot sauce guitar kitchen, the cigar box for a cigar box guitar. It's a very critical, crucial step in the making of it. Interesting words, you say. This is one of my favorite boxes, the Blind Man's Bluff. This is a cool box too, because it's, um, it's thick. It's, it's resonant, but I like this guy right here. I've built one like this. This one's for sale. <laughs> So this one right here, this has a dual blade humbucker and this has the psycho knob in it. Look up Del, Del Puckett's video for the psycho knob. And this has got bullets. My son and I bought our first Ruger 22 and when we shot the gun for the first time, we saved the bullets and so I and laid them into the guitar because the guy's shooting bullets. <laughs> this one I have, this is number 14. This one I have priced out for 400 bucks. It's a steal. Because it's got, it's got the psycho knob in it. But anyways, I have that box right there that can build you from ground up. Did you dig it? Thank you for watching these silly videos. Keep oil in your lamp, my friends. So it begins again. No, bro, I'm not gonna put googly eyes on your guitar. Well, I was going to, but I'm not going to. Number 62. Got her all laid out. Well, I got some ideas laid out. And on the morrow, bright and early, we're gonna fool with a 24 inch scale fret. 24 frets. Got this all laid out. Got the pickup, a nickel covered pickup picked out. The box picked out. Got the inside bracing picked out. Going to in the morning. We wake up bright and early. Begin the process of putting the hole in, getting the neck together, fretboard, spacer, this. Had the headstock cut out. And so pretty much I'll spend a day or two sometimes just like laying it out. Now I don't have it dialed in exactly, but got the hinge picked out. It's metal. I know it's metal. Three-way. Harness, CD Giddy. Volume and tone knobs. Yeah, you're. Tomorrow morning. Get all copied up. Fire up number 62. Hot sauce guitar kitchen. And away we go.